Hi, we're outside the house at 8873 Estabury. This is that uh, circle drive just in front of the house. And it is a three car garage. The, uh, the uh, front porch has a little gate here. <laughs> Keep everybody inside, I suppose. Nice new Trex deck on the front porch. Side access here. There's the AC unit to the backyard. There's the Austin Bluff or the uh, road I was talking about in the back. We'll see it more when we go through the house. Okay. Let me wipe up. Now we have a uh, tiled entry. Nice. It looks like very clean or newer carpet. Here's the sitting area. Goes into the formal dining area. The entry has banister staircases going up to the second level. And then there you can see the um, a family room, excuse me, lost for words. On the other side of the entry door is the coat closet. Dog cage. Okay. Uh, we have a, a little half bath for company. Access to the basement. We'll go there next afterwards. So here we go. Nice size family room. Pretty kitchen. Darker coloring in this home with a natural wood kitchen. A little princess balcony from the second floor looking down into the family area. The deck is also a nice Trex deck with a gate. There is the street I was talking about. In the evening it will be quieter, but during the day you'll have traffic. And then they have another gate on the other side of the three car garage that allows access to the backyard. Don't see a dog, so I'm gonna try to go out there. Puppy? No puppies. So I can't go too far because it's wet, but you've got a good sized backyard, a fenced, fenced wood on the sides, but backs up to a stone fence. And let me go out here just a little bit. There's the stairs, pretty little terrace there, and a little shed. And you can hear the traffic. There is a street light over there. During the winter, you'll probably be able to see it through the aspen trees. This little awning is probably weathered, so I wouldn't count on it providing much. Okay, come back in. Stone floor or tile, granite countertops, stone backsplash tile, and a good size eating space. Right there. They're working on something in, in the cable lines out there. So, all right. We've got a pantry. And then, then again, here we are back to the dining area and that formal sitting. So we'll go around, back around this way. It's a nice home, nice neutral colors. And upstairs we go. At the top of the stairs, I'll turn around and have you look around. So overlooking the family room the edge of the kitchen. This side overlooks the entry and the sitting room. The top of the stairs will go to the left. The fam, or this might be the master, it is. Lots of beautiful light, some mountain views, and not sure if that shelving will stay. <clears throat> we got his and hers closet again. There we go. And this side. 
Perfect. Goes into a laminate or a vinyl flooring that looks like wood. The beautiful soaking tub. Shower. You can put little towel racks over there to hold your towels. I've got a nice double vanity. Here you go, medicine cabinet. And then the toilet room. Okay. Very big. <clears throat> there is a room on the opposite side of that bedroom wall. They're using it as an office. But it has a closet. So it could be a bedroom. It's very small. I would keep it as an office, I think. Computer station. Great homework area. We have a linen closet here. Full bathroom. With that uh, sunlight. A sun window. And the same coloring in the bathroom. There we go. This is the kids' bathroom. Laundry room on this level with that same vinyl flooring that looks like wood. Feels textured too. It's nice. Nicely built shelves and hanging. And then we have the two bedrooms up here. Good size. This will be great for the kids. And a window bench, which is lovely. Lots of kids like to sit there and read. Walk-in closet. And then the next bedroom. This one is next to the bathroom. Seems a little bit narrower, but longer. And then it has a closet. I think this is perfect size for a starter home family. Let's see what the basement looks like, though. We do have some um, larger holes here for hanging heavier items. Uh, that will be there if you purchase this home after closing. I don't want you to think that they have to patch those because they don't do that here. And then there's Pike's Peak from this bedroom. You can see Pike's Peak Mountain. Okay. We're going to go downstairs to the basement now. <clears throat> Your realtor's out of shape. Sorry. <sighs> okay. <laughs> All right. Definitely would probably want to do something with carpet here. The walls are those 1990 pinks and uh, the teal carpet. Coming down in the basement, it hits sort of a dead space here with storage room. So straight down meets a zigzag wall. Another storage and a bedroom. And um, a family area right here. So it's a little choppy coming downstairs. And this has the bathroom, new sink countertop, same bathroom coloring, but new flooring. And it just keeps going around and around. And a little tiny built-in bar space here. This is not really the grand open basement that the other one had. Um, but it is a walkout that the other one's not. So there's benefits in that as well. The coloring is pinkish. That's an easy paint job, I would think. Carpets, I'd want to get replaced just because they're dated. Hang on, i got to figure out how to do this. There we go. And here's the bottom landing. Underneath, this is the bottom landing of the uh, patio up top. Very flat. Little louder than the last house. Larger lot than the last house. But you are backed up to a street that will have business traffic. And they also have another awning here. You can see it's aged a little bit. And being sold as is. The swing space underneath there. 
All right. I have shown you all this house has to offer, and I hope you like it. But uh, we'll talk or we'll communicate back and forth with the um, emails after I send this video. And then here's the heating system and the water heater. Have a good one. Bye.